keeps asking my brother, how does he plan on harvesting them weed patches? My answer to them is, uh, what, your $750,000 combine won't do this? <laughs> well, it would not be a good harvest with Glenn without a couple of breakdowns. Blew a hose back there, the one from the water pump that goes to the thermostat. Bob's going to get one. Of course, we have a couple of extras. And it's something that was on my mind. Kind of pissed at myself that I didn't replace them. Anyhow, smell caught a whiff of antifreeze, and I looked over, and the needle was just skyrocketing, and I got her shut down right as it was coming into the red. So I don't think we did any damage. So we're gonna put it on there, and I'll bring you back when we get her running. See if. See if the engine still runs good, right? Sure hope so. I believe when I was cultivating, I was bragging that these were going to be some of the best soybeans I've ever grew. Well, no lie, at harvest. That statement was very true. They are just flowing in the hopper there. I am uh, in third gear. Just a little bit into the speed, so it's going about three and a half. I'm guessing just from the feels of it. Three. Not going super fast, but these beats are going over 60, so I mean, look at that. This header is just night and day difference. I cannot. I can't express how much nicer this has been with this header. It doesn't feed perfect, but what I'm used to from what I'm used to guys, I know some of you are watching this that run the newer combines are like, that's feeding like crap. Well old Glenn is eating it still. And we're separating it all. We're leaving leaving less than a bushel per acre out there right now. Um, that makes me super happy. About all I can say. I'm gonna keep after it here. Try to get you some footage outside of the combine at some point. And we're just gonna keep moving with harvest. So far it's going good. with that gleaner head you're in dangerous territories right here because you always had to know how that thing was feeding you never knew when a slug was going to come this was this was nightmare status but with this head don't see if we have a problem as long as i can keep the height right it has been just great i love it Our 30% chance of rain for today turned into well over enough to take us out of the field, so we're finished up for the day, going to do some uh, maintenance on the combine, and we go back those into the shed, look how clean that grain is. Oh yeah, nothing cleaner than a gleaner, I'll stand by that. Right there is the hose that blew, and it didn't blow. If you look, there's supposed to be two belts on that alternator and that pulley right there is supposed to have two pulleys on it. Well, there's something missing there. So when that blew, it ripped that hose out and we're up at the shed now. Of course, we don't have a loose one. However, we have a loose single. And Frankie has got a combine engine in it that's got a double pulley on it, same pulley, and all it needs is a single, so 
we're gonna take that put it on here and put the single on there and uh, have two pelts again because this is it's paranoid to run it like this to say the least and then while we're at it I'm gonna get a new hydraulic belt and uh, get that good on there too because it's got to come off so good time to get a new one operation over here. Going pretty good. He sure likes his header, I sure like my header, so no complaints from either one of us. He's got a 7,000 out, that's his new to him tractor. I haven't showed you guys that yet. Alright, we're ready to roll again. Took full advantage of the rain day. Some of you guys may have noticed the uh, bearing wine in previous clips. As a matter of fact, I'm sure I can find one. I'll uh, place it here. Not done with my case conversion on that header yet. So that was this bearing right here on this outer drive sheet. And I knew it's been going bad, but it. It started getting pretty loud, so I figured I better change it. I had the bearing on hand, so. And then I also put new bushings in there because I had them, so. Um, we got a right amount of belts up there now. Good belt on the uh, hydraulic tensioner. And uh, the combine's running nice and smooth, nice and happy. Hopefully, we'll have a good day today. Let's see how it goes. He looks like he's working hard. Sitting there on the front three point. Wow. You hear that thing beep, huh? Those are both working. I changed the sensor. I must have a a wire some sort of connection going on with that rattle chain the chopper i never got to i didn't get the chopper working but all that happens when that clogs up is the straw walkers clog up and then i'll know when that happens because the straw walkers work so it is what it is we're making do that thing beats at me every once in a while it's this one i just got to go down there and unhook that sensor that way it quits beeping at me, because every time it does beep, I want to look up at it. And it's driving me nuts. I'd like to know if one of the sensors at work go off. So, we're going to keep after it. Everything's going good today. Um, just keeping after it here. Bring it back if anything interesting happens. The new lights are pretty darn nice. I need a couple more to light up the center a little bit, but I can still see it for the most part. I can actually see better at night than I can in day. It seems like these lights kind of cut through the dust a little bit better. And then you don't have the sun coming at you this way. It's, I think you guys get what I'm saying, but we've got side lights. And, uh, that one down there, that one so that I can see if I'm running too low when there's too much dust, you look back there for it. So I'm happy with it. Lights up the bend pretty good. Almost done with this field. Be a good day, about 30 acres today. Old Glenn's been doing his job. Happy about that. No speed demon, but I'm happy when I don't have to get out of the cab. are 
going to go through some things next year. It, it knows that this is unacceptable. This damn grass. Um, it's got to get some soil samples. Well, I mean, I don't need to get soil samples to know that the pH is out of whack because of all the grass, honestly. So uh, that's where it's going to start. Probably this fall, getting some pH fixation going on. And uh, we're building a burner next year. That'll take care of a lot of this foxtail. But as it is now, this field's going to drive my average down. Uh, we, we were uh, 52 bushels of the acre on the rest of the uh, transitional ground. This is the last 10 acres of it. I don't know if it's going to go... I don't know. It might do 35. I guess we'll see. It does get better, actually. This over here is always terrible along this tree line. Uh, even if it's clean, you just don't... Trees soak all the moisture, nutrients, and sunlight out of these first eight rows over here. You just don't get much. So. This header is feeding nice, though. Um, slow and steady wins the race of this. We haven't had a plug yet, but now that I say that, we can find some wood to knock on or my head. So we're going to keep going here. We'll bring you back. Get you some outside footage for sure today. We got that one a little full. A little cap corn going on there. Or uh, cap beans. What am I talking about? Cap corn. considering all the grass that's in this field. I'm happy with it. See right there, ladies and gentlemen? That right there is a plug. And kind of a big one. Oh, look it. A bunny rabbit just ran by. Right under the fort. Look. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways. Back to the plug. Yeah, it's good. Y'all want to see how many minutes? Oh crap! He waving me. All right, I'll be over.
Well, we got her back in action. Throat was clogged. Da 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 da. I wonder if uh, gleaners will uh, do foxtails. <laughs>
everything's all tucked away. It's going to be raining for like the next four days. Um, then we'll have about a two day window. I'll be able to hopefully get finished. So we'll see what happens. Either way, this is where I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, on the next one, we'll be finishing up harvest. So thanks for watching, everybody.